So here we go, people. What are we trying to do? Prove. Oh my gosh, you love that word. We're trying to prove this limit with an epsilon delta proof. But first, we need a definition. Let f be a function defined on an open interval that contains the number a, except possibly at a itself. Then we say the limit of f of x as x approaches a is l. And we write the limit as x approaches a of f of x is l. And here's the good part. If for every epsilon bigger than zero there exists a number delta bigger than zero such that if the absolute value of x minus a is smaller than delta, then the absolute value of the function minus the limit is smaller than epsilon. And now that we have that definition, we need a game plan. So we need a game plan, and here's what we're first gonna do. We're first gonna identify our x minus a, and then we're gonna evaluate the function minus the limit until we get some constant times whatever we had in part one. Why? So that we can choose our delta. We can choose our delta to be an epsilon over c. Excellent. And then we're gonna summarize it, and this is the proof part. We're gonna say, we're gonna start off with, if this, then that. Some steps will be in here, a few of them, and we'll show that it is smaller than epsilon. Okay, ready? Here we go. Step one, I need to identify my x minus my a. And on this nice linear example, a first example, look for another one, a more harder one. I'm taping it again today too. Okay, ready? Okay, sure. So then this is the absolute value of x minus, wait for it, four is it, that's my a. So I'm looking for that. In part two, I'm gonna evaluate this limit or this function minus this limit. So then in part two, my function is the thing that I'm taking the limits of. I'm looking for f of x minus l. And then this is a two x minus five. Wait for it, minus three. Cause that was my limit. And like sports chalet, we'll take you to the limit. Now here we go. This is the absolute value of two x minus eight. Great. And the reason our first step said identify this, now we need to massage and manipulate that absolute value in order to get what we were looking for. So you see here, say, we can factor out a two, say, and we do it indeed get, mm-hmm, an x minus four. Now, the absolute value of a product is the product of the absolute values, and I can write the absolute value of two times the absolute value of x minus four. Sure, finish him. We have just gotten that part. That part where we got what we were looking for times some number. Um, clean that up. The absolute value of two is two times x minus four. Now that gets us our c. And what does that get us, c? It gets us part three. In part three, we're gonna choose delta to be equal to epsilon over that C right there, say, two. Oh, and now it's time to summarize. Over here in part four. Now this is where we make a summary. What do we state? We first start if the absolute value of X minus my A four is smaller than delta, then consider Consider what? The function minus the limit. Why? Because we're trying to do an F epsilon delta proof. So we're gonna consider f of x minus L. Yes, well, uh, in our scratch work, we had um, taken a look at this and we said that this is the absolute value of um, 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 2x minus five minus that three. And we absolutely want to write this step in. The next part, you can say that this is equal to steps omitted, dot, 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 uh-huh, two times the absolute value 
you should include your scratch work in your proof, but just call it scratch. X minus four, sure. Now notice what we've done. We said if this is smaller than that, then we considered this. But wait a minute, this is smaller than delta. So then this looks like it's gonna be two times, whoa, that's not equal to. If this is smaller than delta, then this, uh -huh, is smaller than two times delta due to um, inequalities. But what was our choice choice of deltas? Our choice choice of deltas was to let delta be epsilon over two. So now we have two times epsilon over two. Divide! And we've done what we set out to do. If this is smaller than that, then we have shown that the limit minus the, or the function minus the limit is smaller than epsilon. It has been shown. Some people like to do that. I like to do this. Box and flower. This, this one time, time in math class. class. This one time in math class. Real stories from the classroom.